let's continue so it's so funny like man it's so funny like when i see the window open i'll be like oh she's frustrated today when i see stuff in the sink oh she's frustrated and i'll be smiling ah when i see the dog upstairs oh she's frustrated like it's so funny like seriously i'm smiling and laughing Ooh, i'm scared <laughs> never i am not scared of them the only person i have revengeful fear for is god i fear no man god is greater than men god is more powerful than man they should be scared of god they should be scared of god in me mm -hmm. they should be scared of me because god lives in me the three of them two housemates and landlord so dumb and foolish thinking there is no god hmm. god and i just laughing at them when god attacks them they will know there is god he's alive and well he's living in me hmm. remember that song hmm. my god's not dead he's surely alive he's living on the inside rolling like a lion god's not dead he's surely alive ah i love that song he's rolling he's rolling He's rolling like a lion. Ah, that song is a great song. In fact, that song is for them. My housemates and landlord, they need to go watch that movie. You know, God is not dead. Ah, God blew that professor's mind. Hmm. Like all these people thinking there is no God. Ah, hmm. everything is science, nature, rubbish. God is surely alive. God created us. God created the universe. Hmm. all these people worshiping the universe stupid mistake you should worship god like i thank god for changing my perspective to his own perspective like i'm no longer angry now i'm smiling and laughing god is awesome you know my housemate downstairs one day she was talking to me she was talking about evil spirits in my mind i was like this one that does not know god how can she determine evil spirits Evil spirit is even living in her right now and she does not know. She's trying to act smart. She does not know she's foolish. Like she knows how to lie and deny it. She has evil spirit of lying. She does not believe in God. She claims she's smarter than God. It's so funny that non-believers of Jesus act so stupid and foolish. They thinking they are smarter than God. Like... How can you be smarter than the creator of the universe? How can you be smarter than God who created you? God is powerful. God said with his voice, let there be light. And there was light. God didn't even touch anything. So God can even tell my housemates, breath sees. And their breath will cease one time. And if they can't breathe, they will die. You know? So God is powerful. God can raise the dead. God can kill people. Like seriously, don't joke with God. God is kind. God is also dangerous. Don't mess with God. Hmm. Like God is a God of fire and my housemates and landlord are playing with fire and to burn them very soon. In fact, it has started. They just don't know it yet. But by the time God is done with them, hmm. they will have a second thought. Hmm. God is a God of justice. Another time I was cooking in the kitchen and my housemate upstairs wanted to disturb my cooking you know she was coming to the kitchen peeping on what i was doing you know for me i love spicy food and i was making spaghetti like i poured oil onions pepper tomato i was frying them and she started coughing seriously and i was like hey god what should i do should i stop cooking or what and god said no continue cooking this will send her away with her evil plan god was right she was coughing like just coughing seriously she had to leave the kitchen for me ah it was so funny i started laughing seriously like i could even hide the laugh i mean that is what she gets for being nosy evil lady god showed her pepe ah her plan did not work god's pepe sent her out of the kitchen wicked lady god punished her so let us go on to the other aspect of God's message and testimony for today. First of all, God says, My latter days will be greater than my former days. Job 
87 so where i am and where i am going will be get will be greater than where i am like sometimes we look at our situation and think this is it no 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 this is not it god's greater blessings are coming like right now i'm living with my housemates next god may put me in an apartment again where i will live with no housemates or he may give me my own house my mansion because he said he will give me houses i did not build yes god said it in his word so right now god is saying i should work in a warehouse next god can say go back to office work or god can say let us start our own business or do full-time ministry because my latter days will be greater than my former days like i don't know tomorrow one thing i know is my tomorrow will be better than my today because god says so so god said it will give me double blessings for all my challenges isaiah 61 verse 7 this means whatever issues sufferings like challenges i'm going through right now god will double bless me just like job in the bible god blessed him more than his first riches yes like this suffering is not in vain because god said the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory of god that will be revealed in me romans 8 verse 18 so this is a temporary situation where i am is temporary like i will not be here forever i will look back and say hmm god thank you for saving me from my housemates and landlord as for them they will look back and regret the evil things they did to me because god will punish them to the point that they will wish they never did evil to me they will try to contact me they will try to find me the punishment upon them hmm, the sickness upon them will make them cry and regret ever hurting me the day is coming hmm. what goes around comes around not only will it affect them it will affect their spouse and their children and their generation just like Daniel in the bible the evil they did to daniel they ended up getting that evil back the lion ate them and their wives and their kids like hmm. seriously they are still doing evil but they don't know what is coming for them especially that evil housemate upstairs hmm the punishment God will place on her. Ha! She will regret ever meeting me. She will regret all the evil she has done. Hmm. She thinks no one is watching her. She thinks nothing will happen to her. Hmm. God will surprise her with serious sickness, punishment that it will affect her husband, kids, and her generation. This is not a cause. It is God talking to her. She will reap what she sows. Also, the evil landlord and housemaid downstairs. Hmm they will reap what they sow yes so god is telling me that no matter what i'm going through i'm still anointed just like joseph no matter the prison joseph was still anointed he had the favor of god whatever he touched prospered so same for me just because i'm living with this evil housemate does not mean i'm not anointed mm -mm. i am anointed I am still anointed no matter where I'm living. I am still excellent because God created me to be excellent. Like we need to change our perspective to God's perspective. I will not live here forever. God will take me out soon. Same way he took me out of my wicked parents' house. This wicked housemate will be a thing of the past. Just like my wicked parents. Like this is not a permanent situation. This is a temporary situation. God is teaching me lots of things. God is exposing me to the wickedness of this world and showing me he is powerful enough to save me in the lion's den. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. So I'm getting closer to God. I'm learning a lot about evil people and God says he has power over them and he has shown me. So we'll continue the next video.